Today we're at On Target Archery in Canton, Texas, one of the baddest bow shops that I've ever been into. And uh, we've got these new Elite Encores that they just sent us. So we're gonna get these things set up today. Yeah, we're gonna talk about all the specs that we have, uh, we're gonna be shooting this year, and we're gonna kind of show the process of how you set up a new bow. And I'm pretty pumped because I'm ready to shoot this thing at a deer in about 10 days in Nebraska. Basically, I'm changing the draw length. As I said, it's got a little circle right there. Uh -huh. Yes. That's probably the, one of the coolest things about this particular, really, particular cam. Uh, most other boat companies, you have to change the whole cam mm -hmm. or uh, change the module. Mm -hmm. This is the module. Mm -hmm. So, this right here is your let off. Mm -hmm. And so. Right now, it's like if you guys are going to go to Colorado, Colorado is 80%. So this is illegal in Colorado. Because it's set all the way to 90? Yeah, 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 it's all the way up. So you just, all you do is just drop it back. Mm -hmm. And we normally verify on a bow press. Sure. Uh -huh. Draw board. Mm -hmm. I always go, uh, I like to hold more, so. Hold more weight? Yes. Okay, so, so you want to... I'd go with all the other, and you get a little bit more performance that way too. Exactly. Right? Yeah, that's where I'd like to be. center of that burger hole. So we're gonna raise this up call him. Arrow, it's gonna be a little... And then pull those out. Lighter. These like to be... Uh, right down the center. Right down the center? Yeah, right down the center. Okay, so since you're running, okay. you're running four fletch, I'm gonna move this over a little bit. Okay. And then we'll take out the two with the, the two arms. So just to make sure we don't get any sure. flesh contact yeah. and stuff. I'm, I'll shoot it yeah. close and then we're going to tune it to you. Okay, cool. So that means. So this will show you the draw weight and the actual draw weight. So what we're looking for here is the stops hitting at the same time. So right now it's peak weight about 71. And then if we go up here, it's holding about 20. About 20 to be in the back wall. And then uh, we can figure that out. Seven, about 71.8% let off. So he's legal. All I'm doing is verifying if I got my, my rest in the right spot. Mm -hmm. So it's pointing a little downhill. But I kind of seen that just by eyeballing it. So left and right, definitely good on rest. Uh, not yet. No, I'm okay. I'll put another. I'll measure it again. funny that you said because I was like, oh, you measure the front of the riser and then the rest. And yeah. I was like, oh, actually, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so this cable was hitting, this side was hitting first. So it's coming around too fast. So I'm going to shorten this one yeah, so yeah. it comes around slower. Are on. Good. We'll go shoot again. All right. Better. Yeah. So, uh, but you just have to be connected where your original one is. He's got this tail, tail right. And so we'll look up here and it says tail right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this and then we're going to move this that direction. 
Okay. Falls there. So, yeah, tail right. So we're gonna go clockwise. So not only can you tune it yourself, but actually it's tuning for dummies. It tells you what to do. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing you always want to do too is make sure uh, throughout the year, uh, just make sure you, this is the one you want to check. Don't make sure it's, it. Just make sure it's Loose tight. Okay. Yeah. And we're gonna do the both on the same same side. Okay, shoot it again. And that brown looks good though. It does, it's a nice, nice color. All right, no pressure. <laughs> yep. mm. Pretty good. Touching the riser shelf made the difference. Yeah. I think, and that, that's also gonna help me do the same thing every time. So, <laughs> gotta take the little plastic piece off. Ah, I got you. Or else your light will work. Yeah. Yep. So we always put a line on here because uh -huh. you can't really see that. Uh -huh. So we just put a line on here. That way you know where the off button is at. Gotcha. So it's easy to find. That's Pro cool. Tip. Pro yeah. tip. So you all the way out means that you're not making the connection and then you turn it clockwise. Yeah. Like to now stop. it's on when it's not on there and now it goes to off. Is it variable? You, so can, you can feel it. Oh, see it's got click. a little click in there. Yeah. It's variable. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. dog. That's cool. Yep. Who brought the tree frog in? Man, he it's snuck in here, didn't he? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. Get a picture. Tree frog. Tree frog in the This is the uh, resident pet here. Uh, <laughs> hey, he's kind of dry. Is he? Yeah. Go put him in a shady spot. I took that frog outside. Booner. <laughs> booner. <laughs> earn a booner. That's right. Yeah, earn a booner program. Booner program in intact. <laughs> That's funny. That Challenge you. Go return a tree frog. Wow. That's it. So, behind tree frogs. So, basically, we got your bow tuned to you. Good. Got it tuned. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to put string knocks in here. And these string knocks are going to keep the. Anytime you pull back, this can pitch and create lift on the arrow. So we're gonna pull this one down. And then we're gonna put a, a string on right there. Mm. This is a little little bump to make sure it's Yeah, good. just keeps it gives a little space. Yeah. Kind of like a oh like a shoulder bolt or something. Gives you a little space in there. So when they do come back, it, it actually locks onto it, but it doesn't create pressure so it lifts the front mm -hmm. arrow. So and if you ever change your string knock, if say you break your string loop in the field or something, mm -hmm. if you got if you have one on top, one on bottom, you can tie one on there real quick and you're pretty much sighted in. Mm -hmm. It ain't like you gotta reset your center mm -hmm. and everything. So that's another good thing about it. But uh, is there a particular color you would like? I just feel black and most stuff. Black. Yeah. We're gonna use a different color though. Okay. Because that way you know if it's there or not. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Third axis. Arm straight. We got a little bit of gap right here. While we got it here, we'll chronograph it. Yeah, let's do that. Grant. Yeah, man. We can see it. here at 60 and 20 60 and 20 so we're going to roll it back to where we know 20 was lock it in take this bad boy off and we'll use your sight tapes here i'll show you see this is your 30 and 60 tool line it up at 30 whatever it falls on is where 60 is i use 20 and 60. so i'll take calipers and line up make sure i got 20 and 60 here Line it up where it's just about right. And then we'll go to whatever sight tape matches with it, 20 and 60. That's at about 61, and we got it about 60 there. So, we'll use tape 14. 
right. you adjust the indicator since I already moved it back to the, our 20 mark. Um, let's do this. Um, we'll roll the indicator to where it reads 20. Get it tightened up. You go check it at 20. Okie dokies. I'm not colorblind, but it just like doesn't show me. Yeah.